welcome in this question we have to analyze the beam using slope deflection method uh, so ei what it is given is 915 kpa which is equal to 950 kN per meter square so in this question your b support is sinking down by 20 mm so 20 mm divided by 1000 will give you 0.02 meters so whenever your right hand side support is sinking we always consider delta to be as negative 0.02 when left hand side support is sinking that is positive 0.02 this we have two unknowns that is theta b and theta c we have to solve so at the supports we have theta b and theta c both the supports are unknown for these two unknowns we need two additional equations to solve them so we have compatibility equations at b support left side and right side moment is has to be equal to 0 and at simply support that is at c support the moment has to be 0 coming on to the main question here we are so here they have given a triangular loading so triangular loading half into base into height the total intensity will be lying on the cg cg is that is greater height divided by 3 so at 2 it is lying step number 1 fix and moment so for triangular loading left hand side we have w l square by 20 right hand side we have w l square by 30 and we have taken positive negative positive negative alternate step number 2 writing all the slope deflection equations so i have written all the slope deflection equation here next is compatibility equations two unknowns two compatibility equations and the nature of the delta we are using next we are substituting the value of mba plus mbc is equal to 0 we have kept theta a is equal to 0 because it is a fixed end we have kept delta values for span a b and bc next is mcb so we have taken mcb is equal to 0 we have substituted all the values so that we finally get two equations for us so in these two equations and we have theta b theta c unknown we have substituted the value calculated and find out the final answer for theta b after calculations we get theta b value and re substituting it and we are getting theta c value Finally we are putting the value of theta b and theta c in m a b m b c m b a and we are getting the value so here m b a and m b c are almost same and m c b is equal to 0 simply supported we have got next is we got all the moment diagram so whatever moments we got we have just simply trace it along with simply supported bending moment here we have all the moments clockwise anti clockwise we shear forces what we have done is anti clockwise and clockwise both are different in nature so clockwise minus anti clockwise divided by the total length we got the shear force and accordingly we have traced all the shear forces and your simply supported reactions here next what we have done we have simply added that that is 30 it is going up so positive minus 9.32 so we got 20 like that we have substituted all the reactions what shear forces we are getting and we have just simply traced to be sure that the ordinates what we are getting should be matching with the forces like see 30 it is matching here and all the reactions at the support should also be matching with the ordinates what we are getting in the shear force diagram thank you for watching